Hey, what's up you guys? Tyson Della Cruz here. Thank you guys so much for joining me. In this video, I'm going to give you 10 things you gotta do before you think about being an entrepreneur. Hey, I get it. You typed it in the YouTube search bar, so obviously you're interested in becoming an entrepreneur, starting your own business, creating financial freedom, and creating more time in your life to actually do the things that you wanna do. I've been there too. In this video, I'm going to give you a couple things to think about and to do prior to becoming an entrepreneur and starting your own businesses. There might be something that I say along this video that doesn't necessarily resonate with you, pertain to you, or it's maybe something that you simply can't do. And you know what? Maybe running your own business and being an entrepreneur simply is not for you. Fuck you, asshole. And that is totally okay, because again, it's not for everybody. The first thing that you gotta know how to do before opening your own business and becoming an entrepreneur is you gotta learn how to motivate yourself. There's not gonna be a boss barking down your neck telling you to do this, this, that, this, or the other thing. You have to wake up every morning with an intentionality to create positive change in your business. Nobody is gonna do it for you. You gotta figure out how to pump yourself up. We've gotta keep our composure. We've got too far. There's too much to lose. You gotta figure out what motivates you and how to stay motivated even throughout the difficult times. The second thing you gotta do is learn how to save money. Running your own business, being an entrepreneur, means sometimes, at times, you might not have consistent money flow coming in, especially when you first start. This is incredibly important to learn how to manage your finances and drop the things that you no longer need that you can potentially live without for a short period of time. And then when you get that payday on your first big deal, don't blow it on buying a new car or a new watch. I'm rich, bitch. Continue to stack that cash for when those dry times come. The third thing you gotta do prior to becoming an entrepreneur is you gotta learn how to sell. Uh, I don't wanna sell. I don't like sales. Listen, I get it. Some of you might have a negative connotation when it comes to sales. Here is a mind-blowing fact for you. We've been selling to our parents, to our spouses, to everybody around us since we were little. Do you remember that time when you were in the grocery store and you wanted that cereal and you were like, Mom, I want this cereal. I want this cereal. Look, it has high fructose corn syrup and cocoa and marshmallows in it and I want it. You were enticing your mother, your parent, to buy you that cereal. Get good at sales, word judo, marketing, how to talk, how to close, how to have conversation with people. This will not only allow you to sell your product, service, or business better, but also you can sell yourself. You can sell yourself to investors. You can sell yourself to other things. Because when people buy into you, they buy into your product. If you want more information about sales, I'll leave a couple of my book recommendations in the description below. Tip number four, get involved in a mentorship program. Have somebody mentor you. And I'm not talking about somebody that did business 30, 40 years ago, and he's 80 years old, and he spends his time golfing and swimming at the country club. You're like that. Although you're gonna get some nuggets from those individuals too, you wanna establish a mentorship underneath somebody that is currently doing business, that is actively doing business, actively growing their business. Because this is gonna give you the inner workings of how a business actually works, running multiple businesses, the dedication and time that it takes to actually flourish in business. Keep in mind, you're gonna be exchanging your sweat equity, your time, if you would, in exchange for knowledge. You're not necessarily gonna be receiving any financial return in the beginning, but you're going to be receiving an abundance of knowledge that you cannot receive at a college or university. Tip number five. You ever heard this saying, your network is your net worth? Well, this is your opportunity to begin networking. Start building your contact list. Referrals, potential business partners, potential lenders, investors, people that bought into or currently buying into your vision that will help you grow. And keep in mind, if you wanna get rich, you gotta hang out with rich people. So start networking with people that you wanna be affiliated with. So this also means your friends that you used to hang out with, maybe they no longer are in alignment with you. So this is a great opportunity to shift your alignment and your focus. Tip number six, learn to let go. I'll never let 
go. That was a lie. In order to elevate, you have to delegate. So learn to let go of those small, minute tasks, especially as you're growing. Those small, minute tasks, you can actually pay a VA. A VA is a virtual assistant. You can pay them a small amount to actually take care of those small, minute tasks. Not only let go of the tasks, but also let go of some emotions that you might be harboring. Because at first, when you first start a business, you're gonna get a lot of no's. Don't let that hinder you from actually growing in business, because every no is one one step closer to a yes. Tip number eight, learn how to research. Google is only as good as the person typing in the letters into the Google search bar. So learn how to research. Continue to learn how to grow. Start looking at documents or existing businesses or reading news articles. When I first started in real estate, I looked at a lot of bankruptcy documents, I looked at a lot of foreclosure documents, divorce documents, trust documents, and if I didn't know a word in those documents, I would highlight it and research that word, and that would take me down a whole nother rabbit hole, which gave me a lot of information that I can utilize in my current business today. This is your opportunity to do a lot of research and development and continue to grow. Number eight, build an audience. Get on social media, get on Instagram stories, get on Facebook stories, and start sharing your story as you're building your business, as you're becoming an entrepreneur. This will create a solid fan base. And as you grow, your fans will become inspired and empowered to potentially do things along the way in their life. And this will create a solid network for you to help bounce ideas, help you grow, maybe potentially build more investment partners build an audience number nine figure out your strengths figure out what you're really really good at and figure out what you suck at because the things that you suck at you're gonna suck at them regardless although you can you know do things to get better at those but utilize your strong suits as your superpower whether that's talking or sales or being really creative with marketing or creating business plans or being very analytical use those to your advantage because those are your God given gifts somebody else might be good at doing the small minute stuff this is your opportunity as you grow in business you can outsource those things that you're potentially weak at or partner with people that are stronger in the weaker categories that you are. This will essentially allow you to grow a lot faster and be more collaborative in all of your efforts. Last but not least, tip number 10. You gotta work as if your back's pressed against the wall and you have no other freaking option. Because if you have no other option, you have no excuse but to excel forward. When your back's against the wall and there's no pressure, there's no incentive to actually move forward and make the shit work. When I first started, there were several times that my back was against the wall. If this thing didn't work out, I'm gonna be freaking eating ramen noodles and I'm gonna be in debt for a very, very long time. Take the time to create deadlines and accomplish those tasks before those deadlines. So there you have it guys. If you guys enjoyed this video, go ahead and click that like button down below. Also in the comment section, please let me know of a time that your back was against the wall and you were able to push through that shit. Please leave a comment down below. If you feel that somebody is going to resonate with this content, please go ahead and share it with them. And if you have not subscribed to this channel, you get to. Please go ahead and click that subscribe button and that notification button as well. Guys, I hope you have a phenomenal day. Be kind. Rewind. Peace.